Hi, my name is Arisha and you're watching Little Chef Arisha. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make fluffy pancakes. And believe me, they taste better than the ones you buy from the store. And without wasting any time, let's begin our recipe. So to make our delicious and fluffy pancakes, we're going to need one and a half cup of all-purpose flour, one egg, a pinch of salt, Two, three and a half tablespoons of uh, three and a half tablespoons of baking powder, and believe me, guys, it's not a lot of baking powder. It makes your pancakes fluffy, and and it doesn't have a bitter taste. A half teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of sugar, one and one and quarter cup of whole milk, four tablespoons of four tablespoons of melted butter. Now let's start by adding our dry ingredients into a big measuring cup. I'm going to add my all-purpose flour first. Now my baking powder. My sugar. a pinch of salt. Now I'm going to mix it really well. Now that I have mixed all of my dry ingredients into my all-purpose flour, I'm going to put, I'm going to combine all my, I'm going to combine my milk, my melted butter, and my vanilla extract into my egg and mix it really well. Now I'm going to mix it. So guys, now that I have mixed my milk mixture really good, I'm going to pour it into, I'm going to go ahead and pour it into my all-purpose flour. And guys, I'm giving you a very, very important tip here. Do not over mix your batter because the whole point is to break all of the big lumps. If you see little lumps, that is okay. That is fine it, because it may, the little lumps make your pancakes very fluffy. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my milk mixture into my all-purpose flour. Now I'm going to mix it. So guys, after making your batter, this is how it should look like. And guys, these are the lumps I was talking about. It is totally fine to have these. And guys, please do not break these lumps. Now here is the time for the exciting part. If you are a chocolate lover, you can go ahead and add chocolate chips into your batter, any kind of chocolate you want. And now our pancake batter is ready to go into the pan. So guys, now I'm going to put butter in the pan and I'm going to coat it completely with the butter. Now that I have coated the pan completely with the butter, my pancakes are ready to go in the pan. And here I'm using a cast iron pan. You can use a non-stick pan, but for some reason, the pancakes come out good with the cast iron pan. Now I'm going to put the pancake batter in my pan. When you see the bubbles forming, that means the other side is cooked and now you can flip your pancake. Now I'm going to flip my pancake. So guys, now that the other side is cooked, I'm going to make another pancake. And I got, and guys, I wish you were here because this thing smells so delicious. Now I'm going to make another pancake. Now I'm going to wait for it to form bubbles and then I'm going to flip it. 
my pancake started forming bubbles, I'm going to flip it. Guys, see how beautiful my pancake color looks like? Now I'm going to wait for the other side to cook and I'm going to show you how it looks like and then I'm going to taste it. Now that my pancakes are ready, I'm going to show you how they look like. Guys, see how buttery and fluffy and delicious and creamy my pancakes look like? And I wish you guys were here to smell this amazing thing. Now I'm going to put some maple syrup on the pancakes. Try my delicious and creamy pancakes. Mmm, it's so good. I hope you guys like today's delicious recipe. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below and please do try this recipe at home. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a thumbs up on this video. Bye!